Hey there, on this channel, I share tips, ideas, and resources to help business owners and solopreneurs move their ideas forward. So if you haven't yet subscribed, I invite you to do so. In this video, I share five social media tips for local businesses. As a business owner, it can be so overwhelming when we think about social media because we can essentially reach anybody online, but we don't wanna reach just anybody. We wanna reach the right people. We wanna reach those that we know we can help. We have a lot of value to offer them. So we have a product or a service that is a solution to a problem that someone's having. Those are the people that we wanna to start to build relationships with and connect with. It's so easy to get caught up in all this online marketing stuff that we forget the power of our local community, of the local businesses that we so love. And so I wanted to share five social media tips to help your local business. Number one, start doing live video. If you know me at all, you know how much I love doing live video because it really is an incredible way to connect with your audience, to connect with those people that you wanna help. I'll never forget, last year I was working with a client of mine and he wanted to build his local brand. He has a really incredible company and it's growing rapidly, but he wasn't getting as many clients locally as he wanted to. And so he started doing a weekly show on Facebook. And every week he would do a show and it was creating a lot of value and that's what we need to do on these videos, obviously creating value. And I'll never forget, it was a Friday evening and he calls me up and I pick up the phone and he says, oh my gosh, I just got out of the grocery store and this guy walked up to me and said, hey, you're that guy I see on Facebook. He was so excited because he started to build relationships with these local community leaders that essentially turned, some of them turned into clients, some of them turned into friends that they were able to refer business back and forth. And it was all because he started doing this show on a weekly basis. I know that live isn't for everyone, but definitely consider it and at least give it a try and see what kind of results you get. Number two, start a Facebook group. I know you might be thinking, oh my gosh, Kate, no, I do not wanna be part of another Facebook group. And I get it, if you are thinking that, then this might not be for you. However, if you are looking to connect with your audience more and be able to have more deeper relationships and conversations with them, I say give it a try. It's been really cool to watch some local business owners in my community start a Facebook group, get really interactive and involved. They are sharing videos, they're sharing their blog posts, they're sharing, they're doing challenges, and they're sharing really good information. And what I see st starting to happen is that they are converting some of the members in the group into clients and customers because they're building a deeper relationship with them by providing so much value. So again, if you are definitely not interested in staying up to date and, and really sharing a lot of value and managing a group, then maybe put this one on the back burner. But if you do wanna build that deeper relationship with them, maybe give Facebook groups a try. Number three, social advertising. If you haven't yet invested in advertising on your social media sites, you're missing a huge opportunity. It is amazing how targeted you can get with these ads. So you can run an ad specifically to your local community. You can choose the city, the zip code, the, the tons of different demographics so that you know you're targeting those people that you really want to connect with. And the cool thing about it is you don't have to spend a ton of money. You can start boosting posts or running ads for as little as $2 a day, $5 a day, and just start testing and seeing if people are actually responding to those ads. So if you haven't yet tried it, definitely take a look at starting to run some ads to connect with your community. Number four, collaborate with other businesses. So think about the businesses that you already really like, that maybe you refer business to them, they refer business to you, and you have like-minded clients and customers. How can you start to collaborate more? So for example, I went to a show last weekend and when I at a local theater, and when I went to go pick up my tickets, I saw on the back there was 20% off on my favorite restaurant. So 
Of course I was excited to see that, and you better believe I went to dinner before I went to the show because I wanted to take advantage of that offer. And that was a really cool way for them to partner. Now you might be thinking, okay, this is great, but what does that have to do with social media? Well, the cool part about this is that when you're collaborating with other businesses, obviously everyone's online and sharing different things, so now you can tag that company. You can start to, to do different things on social media to help spread the word about, they, the restaurant can spread the word about the show, the show can spread the word about the restaurant. So think about in your industry, how you can start collaborating with people to start to build up your online presence. And number five, sponsor local events. I am friends with some event planners, so I get to hear the behind the scenes of what it takes to put together an incredible event. And I know that their main priority is to create an unbelievable experience that all the attendees will never forget. But I also know that it's very important to them to make sure the sponsors are happy because we all know you can't throw a great event without all of the help with the sponsors. And so they definitely give a lot of love to those individuals and those businesses that are sponsoring events. And so what's great about this on social media is and what, what happens when there's an event going on? It needs to be promoted. So it's being promoted and if you start sponsoring events, they're gonna tag you, they're gonna talk about you, they're gonna thank you. And so it's great because now you're being seen as a leader in the community, you step up to the plate, you sponsor great events, and it's also just gonna help with that name recognition as you're building your presence online locally. I love supporting local businesses, and I know you do too since you own one. So I hope you found these tips helpful as you continue to grow your business. I would love to hear from you. How are you using social media to promote your local business? Comment below and let me know. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and also share it with someone who you think might find it valuable as well. I also invite you to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I post another video just like this.